Hello, my name is John Capello. I'm field CTO at Nasuni. I'm here to talk to you today about the Nasuni File Data Platform and about the new S3 protocol that we are bringing to the Nasuni File Data Platform. So what I'd like to do today is talk about what it means to deploy Nasuni, the value that our customers get out of it, and importantly, what value they get out of the new S3 protocol that we have on the Nasuni File Data Platform. So let me start with some pictures. And because we are a hybrid cloud storage solution, let's start with a picture of the cloud. So I'm a customer and I have an account, let's say in AWS. Could be in Azure, could be in GCP. And I have access to storage. Specifically, I can access object storage. And that's great because object storage is the foundation of the Nasuni file data platform. When I deploy Nasuni, what I deploy inside of my data center, or maybe in a remote office, is a virtual machine we call the Nasuni Edge. And that Nasuni Edge looks and feels just like network attached storage. It looks and feels just like a NAS. That means that I can write to my Edge using SIFs. I can write to my Edge using NFS. And when I do that, I am creating files and folders. Those files and folders are then turned into objects by Nasuni. This is the first foundational point about Nasuni. We have a massively scalable file system built on top of object storage. Object storage that you own in your own tenant, and you can deploy it at the edge. Those edges live inside of your environment, and before any data moves into the cloud, it's encrypted with your keys. Which is why with Nasuni, built into the design of our product is security. The final point is that these edges can be designed for whatever workloads you need. So this is a cache copy of the data that's stored inside of the object store. A cache copy of the files, a cache copy of the folders. But not the entire folder structure, just the folders that you need to access. So these edges can be really large. They can store lots and lots of data. You could have a two petabyte, three petabyte volume. That's right, two petabyte or three petabytes of file data in one volume. But maybe I only need 10 terabytes on the edge. I can have an edge that's designed as that. What if I need a high performance edge? I need an edge that has the ability to serve up lots and lots of users. Maybe not a lot of data, but just lots of users. I can create an edge for that as well. And again, that is with the current Nasuni file data system. And that gives us the third piece about Nasuni, which is performance. Performance at the edge. So what's new? The new thing is that we now have the ability to access that same file system and those same edges, but using a new protocol, S3. So our customers have been saying to us for years that their applications are modernizing but their data is not, meaning that they want to use the same data, they want to use the same file structures, they want to be able to use the same folder structures, they want to use all of that, but instead of using SIFS or NFS to access it, they want to use S3. So we've actually created the capability for any of the Nasuni edges to now present out the S3 protocol. So what does that mean? That means that I can write to the same file system that I've been using for years, I can write to it using the S3 protocol. The paths might be exactly the same, but I'm using a new protocol to access it. It also means I can read from that protocol as well. So I might have ingested a lot of data using SIFs, but I want to read it out through S3. I can do that now with the Nasuni, um, with S3 on the Nasuni Edge. So where do we see this um, with our customers? So first use case we see is a write cache. Customers who need to ingest a lot of data they want to move it into S3 because they're using the S3 protocol. But the problem is, maybe it's a remote office, maybe it's a manufacturing location. And when I write into the cloud, I have to deal with some of the inconsistencies of network. Well, with a write cache, the S3 edge, I can write to my edge, and then I can push it to the cloud whenever the network is available. And these edges are really smart. They know how to compress the file so that they're smaller footprints, and they know how to parallelize the push into the cloud. And they know how to respond to networks that are not always available. So you can take this edge offline. I might have a lot of stuff in the cache. I might not have pushed it to the cloud yet. 
I bring it back and it's able to push all that data. So having a right cache is, is really important. Second thing that we're seeing is the ability for us to support local AI applications. One thing we hear from a lot of our customers is they've got large data sets that they're using to uh, fuel these emerging models, these AI models. Now, a lot of customers are putting that into the cloud. That's a great place for them to run that. But they realize some of that data is being really generated at the edge, and they need to apply the models and the learning at the edge. But they want to rewrite their applications to use file protocol. They want to still be able to use object protocol. Great application for Nasuni, being able to use S3 at the edge to run local analytics, local AI models. And then the final thing I'll say about this is now with S3 at the edge, you're opening up a whole different way of thinking about your file infrastructure. With Nasuni, when you start out, you've got a file system, and that file system can grow over time, and that file system can live in lots of different locations through all of our caching technology, but it's a file system that's now accessible through S3. But now you can think about it in a little bit of a different way. Instead of just a file system available through S3, think about it as a data lake that's available wherever I might want access to it. So what I'm going to show you here is an, another AWS region. Let's call this a local zone. Inside that local zone, I can put my edge with S3 access to it, run my applications there, and now I have something that I can't get today in Amazon. I can't actually get low latency access to a massively scalable S3-based file infrastructure in a local zone. Today, I have to actually write directly to the S3 bucket, wherever the S3 bucket might live. But with our edge, we've opened up local zones. We've opened up data centers. We've even opened up things like AWS Outpost. So this is bringing S3 to local zones and outposts. So remember, again, I want the scalability of S3, the service. I want to be able to put as much data as I want. I want large folder structures. But I want to make that data available wherever my application lives. And today, those applications can be in your data center, in a remote office, could be in a second region within Amazon. It could be onto an Amazon infrastructure like Outposts. Any place you can actually spin up a virtual machine, you now have access to a high performance, low latency S3 cache. So that's what you get from Nasuni. That's the power of the Nasuni file data platform, and in particular with S3 now. Thank you for watching. And for more information, please visit nasuni.com.